Want to hear something wild? One of the most important battles of the Civil War wasn't fought in the South. It was fought in the West. Having won a series of victories in the early stages of the conflict, by January 1862, Texas Confederates had the precious metal mining centers of California and Colorado in their sights. Securing the New Mexico Territory would open an important economic and geographic gateway, providing them with valuable resources and an opportunity to expand slavery to the North and West. Responsibility for the campaign fell to General Henry Hopkins Sibley, a West Point graduate who had quit the U.S. military to join the Confederate Army. In February 1862, Sibley led around 3,000 cavalry troops westward through the territory's harsh terrain. A series of minor victories against Union forces followed, boosting morale amongst his men and convincing Sibley to split the brigade into smaller detachments for an assault on Fort Union, a crucial supply center. What Sibley did not know was that roughly 400 Union troops lay in wait in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Fighting under John P. Slough, a U.S. Army general, they were well armed with rifles that had a much longer range than the Confederates' aging shotguns. The Battle of Glorieta Pass began on March 26th and raged for three days. Even though Confederates forced Union troops back down the Santa Fe Trail, their luck ran out when enemy scouts looted their supply trains and torched their camp, killing 800 animals in the process. With no additional supplies to sustain in advance, the Confederates admitted defeat and began a long trek on foot back to Texas. As a result, the Union Army regained control of the New Mexico Territory and went on to win the war. A watershed moment in the tactical battle for the future of the country. Today, the Battle of Glorieta Pass is also known as the Gettysburg of the West. Why do you think control of the New Mexico Territory was important to the outcome of the U.S. Civil War?